Mina, Gong Banwa, Jesus Freaking Gamer here. Job chapter 35, let's hop right into verse 6. If you sin, this is Elihu talking to Job, by the way. If you sin, what do you accomplish against him? Or if your transgressions are multiplied, what do you do to him? If you are righteous, what do you give him? Or what does he receive from your hand? Your wickedness affects a man such as you, and your righteousness a son of man. I love how bluntly that's put. Um, as you guys know, anyone who's been watching me for any length of time, either on these videos or on my video game videos, I'm a very, very blunt, honest to the point kind of guy. And Elihu's like, you know what? If whether you're good or bad, you realize you're not really affecting God, right? God is above all of this. If we do something good, it's great. We're glorifying God. It's not, he didn't need it. He doesn't directly benefit from it. It's not like, it's not like in a lot of the animes and video games that I play and watch, you'll see these gods and goddesses vying for faith, trying to get the faith of the people because faith gives them power, faith builds them up. God doesn't need you. He doesn't need me. He doesn't need these video series. It profits me because it helps me to get into his word and get closer to him. It helps you because maybe it shows you something you didn't know before or just reinforces something that you already believed. Maybe it corrects the path of the wicked and shows them, I really do need to get my life right with Christ. And then if I, if I do something sinful, I've been open and honest about uh, struggles with porn. If I, you know, if I look at that and women are made less in my mind, if I am less of a man because I look at those things, God's not like, oh my gosh, my son is in sin. What am I going to do? I'm trying to reach people on YouTube and look at that goofball messing up. What am I going to do? No. No. Yeah, I'll pay for it. Messages may suffer for it because I'm in sin. My attitude may be bad because I've put my self, myself in a bad mental place. It doesn't affect God. It doesn't put him in a bad mental place. It doesn't affect his ministry to me or to YouTube or to women or to sexuality in general. God's fine. Whether I do this correctly or incorrectly, whether I'm in sin or whether I'm in righteousness, God's fine. He doesn't need me. I have the privilege and honor of getting to be with him. So I love what Elihu said it because it's a good reality check. We are not as important as we sometimes think we are. That's a good blow right between my eyes. Uh, sometimes I can get a little high-handed and high and minded. Not really self-righteous, but a bit proud. Uh, because of, you know, just whatever about how amazing and awesome I am or something ridiculous like that. I am amazing and awesome, by the way. Dog on it. But, <laughs> case in point, doesn't affect God. He, he's who he is. Whether I'm amazing and awesome or not. What's amazing and awesome is his grace on a sinner like me. And the fact that I get to partake of his grace and I get to spread his word. And the fact that that same grace is extended to all of you guys. To all of us sinners, we get a chance to be with this great, glorious, loving God. He changes us. We don't change him. We need him. He does not need us. Guys, thank you very much for watching. I love you. And God bless.